Uh, this next video is going to be pretty short, but uh, I want to show you how you might do an average in your Excel spreadsheet. So let's go over to column J, and I'm going to type in the word average there, just for the column title. Now, one thing that you could do is uh, you can maybe take the total and divide it by the number of cells. So mathematically, I'm going to say equals this number divided by 6 because I have six different entries there. Uh, so we always divide the total by the number of entries. I'm going to hit the enter key. And that actually gives us the average for that row. So if we look at this formula, I'm taking the, the total divided by 6. That would be one way. I'm actually going to delete that. Another way is you can use uh, the average function. It's built right in. So one way to get to the average function is to use the auto sum. Now notice what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit the, uh, the, the pull down next to the auto sum. Uh, now these are functions that are very popular that we have average account is actually counting the number of, of items that are uh, in, in, the, in a range. Then we have the maximum number, the minimum number, and then we're going to talk about more functions perhaps in a different video. But I'm going to uh, pick on an average. Now um, in this case the auto sum didn't exactly pick the proper range. If you notice it's going from C4 over to I4. Well I don't want to include I4 in the average because I4 is the total and if we include that in the average the average will not be correct. So when the auto sum does not pick the right range for you you want to pick your own range. So I'm going to uh, click on cell C4 and I'm going to drag it over to H4. So really, I just want to average everything from C4 to H4. Notice what the formula says. Equals average is the name of the function, open parentheses, C4 through H4. Close parentheses. I want to hit the enter key. And actually, it gave us the same mathematical result. Uh, but um, we can do the average either with the average function that you can find under the, uh, the auto sum. And there's other places to find that as well. Or we could have done it mathematically by taking the total and dividing it by the number of the items, which is really the same thing. Uh, now, once I have that first average, of course, I want to get the speed fill and drag it down to the column so that now I have the average for the rest of the rows as well.